Welcome, welcome to another experience quite like no other. <laughs> From my, uh, you know, I would say vantage point and um, through my uh, seasoning, you know, I um, honestly believe that, you know, women were gifted, you know, with, uh, you know, intuition as well as uh, emotions. But what kind of, you know, creates and imbalances the, uh, the injury. This is where you actually come in to balance them out. This is where you do the mental and emotional maintenance. Because I believe that they were gifted, you know, with emotions, you know, and that uh, innate sense of uh, how the, uh, the law of uh, influence works just through their uh, power of suggestion. Because, you know, emotions and intuition, you know, just intertwine together so perfectly, you know? So it's kind of like you're dealing with a, a double-edged sword. And knowing this, you know, that uh, words can be, you know, something to uh, either liberate her or uh, cause her to feel um, in bondage. Now, if you look at the words, as simple as this, the words is, you know, you know, I would say more so a, a supporting aspect, like, I understand you, and that you can do it, you know. You know, that ain't nothing for you to, uh, handle. It goes a long way, you know. Also, keep in mind that, you know, any woman with, uh, I would say, uh, a reasonably good amount of sense about herself uh, desires to uh, live vicariously through the man that she admires, she respects. It's something that they, uh, you know, receive with their spirit. See, when they explain what they like, it's uh, usually someone... Uh, better than them. You know, although a lot of them end up with something uh, less than them, you know, due to their uh, lack of, uh, you know, self-confidence, as well as um, not being, you know, in tune, as well as their, you know, immaturity, it's what basically can cause them to be with, you know, the, the lesser man to be with something that they can control, you know, within the parameters of their emotional worldview. Not something else, right? I noticed that, you know, women that are, uh, you know, up for the challenge, well, the ones that I've come across that are up for the challenge uh, have, uh, you know, this innate sense of uh, studying me as their, uh, their muse. You know, they study my body language my posture, and how I, uh, you know, articulate myself. It's just like the uh, conversation in the garden, not with Adam, but with the serpent, because the serpent appealed to uh, Eve's idea of being wiser than what she was, and then stronger than what she was, and more powerful than what she was. <laughs> now, although she already had it, and it, uh, it was already there, uh, but she didn't have the confidence, you know, within herself to actually believe it. <laughs> See, emotions can be a bitch, and they uh, sometimes have more governance, you know, over their lives than uh, they wish they actually had it to be. This is where, you know, you should come in as the calm after the storm, you know, bringing everything to uh, even keel and uh, proper perspective, you know, with uh, salt and honey. You know, the honey, you know, appeals to the dream. It also soothes the, uh, the anxiety, while the salt, you know, changes the flavor of the perspective that she once had, you know, 
when they work together, it's like, um, like magic, you know? This is what draws them in closer to you as the pillar, as the one with the answer, as the one that is the answer, the truth, the way, and the life. <laughs> You're probably thinking to yourself, how do you become the truth, the way, the life? within your uh, thought, habit, behavior, and uh, you know, overall uh, expression. What's well, mainly being, you know, uh, you know, not only immersed, but uh, in tune with your source of strength, which is God. You know, it's the generator, operator, destroyer. You know, it's knowing the God in you, loving the God in you thinking of the God in you. You dig? As I said before, the more uh, potent your uh, expression is, is an indicator of how godly you are, right? The more effective your uh, way of life is, the more godly you are. So your life is, uh, I mean, a reflection of that source of strength and power, you know. And a man is all about developing, you know, strength. Not only just within himself, but within, you know, others that are associated with him. Based off of that uh, principle. So your uh, core strength is actually your backbone. Being, you know, in sports, when I was younger, you know, taught me that uh, building, you know, my core strength helped me to uh, maximize my performance, you know. So your core strength produces a uh, greater efficiency of uh, movement as well as it improves your uh, balance and it uh, increases your power throughout your body. <laughs> God body. <laughs> You know, see, this is the uh, the same core muscle, your psyche, that creates the momentum for the movement, right, and for the moment that determines your uh, proper posture and positioning. <laughs> Remember what uh, you know? T. D. Jakes was talking about uh, repositioning yourself. See, once you reposition yourself, you can actually um, position those around you and reposition those around you. It's kind of like, you know, where Adam was able to name the uh, animals. How was he able to name the animals? Because he had a peace of mind. And his peace of mind was being in tune with the God that is in him. You know, it's anchored down, you know, it's interlocked, you know? That's why the draw is more, uh, you know, Effective, you know, the, the catch hand is more precise, you know A lot of cases you don't necessarily have to say much or do much You know Your experience actually uh, permeates through you and um, It's a calming effect even if women can't necessarily articulate You know what's going on, but they know that they feel at ease being around you you know, as being the, the salt and the honey, the man that knows how to facilitate both, you know, under all circumstances. You know, you don't want to act like them or react like them, you know, under, you know, the same uh, conditions. Now, this is what separates you. This is what makes you, you know, a God amongst men just in, in, in that compartment. There's many other compartments. But, uh, 